Deville scaled the heights in the Azores, but not on the course. He was tied 43rd. And it wasn't a Mason-like week for last year's top dog either. Despite an improved 72 on Sunday, Carl finished modestly at 6 over in a share of 28th. Martin Gray's par 5 at the first may have felt like a shot gone. He then did bogey the second, so a jump start needed to his round at the third. Perfect for a birdie 3 and back to minus 6. Domingo Hospital was one under for the round until this neat approach to the fifth set up his second birdie. Hanging lie? No problem. After tidying up for a three, the Spaniard is two under and could yet grab a senior's trophy at his very first attempt. Just the one red figure on the Sunday scorecard so far for Stuart Ginn. That was at the opening hole. Pars for the next five. This was his second shot to the shortish par four seventh hole. He just missed that putt, so he stays stuck on minus two. Constantino Rocca was disappointed with a bogey at the sixth, but made amends with a two on the demanding eighth, courtesy of a fairway metal. Then he codded another, birdie that is, on the ninth to reach the turn in 33. He's one under for the event. Jose Rivero's slim title hopes were dashed by a double bogey sixth at the sixth hole. So back to plus three. At the ninth, a little light relief, a birdie three, and he turns in Neville par 36. Better stuff from Carbonetti the younger, Luis, who's out in 35. This was his tee shot at the eighth. Very neat. Trying to stay in touch with Gray, Phil. Well, that could be for the joint lead, because I can tell you Carbonetti is now only one off the pace. Joined second with Hospital and Gen. Gray still leads, but only by a stroke, after three consecutive bogeys from the fifth. The eighth hole at 200 yards, ranked number six in difficulty. Spot a bother here for Gin. Oh, great judgment. Yossi at home on the Bermuda grass. It is quite a demanding hole, the eighth, but not for Jose Rivero, who made a hole in one here and won 200 bottles of Hardy's wine for his trouble. Well, he's not going to catch the leader just yet. Only a three for Carbonetti, but he will be delighted with the way things are going. The ninth, a man from La Linea, down near Gibraltar, Spain. Kiros, just missing out on his birdie, but <laughs> having fun as ever. So trying to regroup is Martin Gray. First, he's playing partner on the eighth tee, Nick Jope. He's made bogeys on four and seven. But I think that will somewhat balance the books. He's useful from that distance. What an opportunity for a two. Tight right pin at this eighth, just four yards off the edge. I'm surprised actually that Martin Gray is teeing up on the right. Perhaps trying to fade it in. He double-crossed himself, started it left, and went further left. Hard work today so far for Martin, Phil. You can only put it down to the pressure because he played beautifully on days one and two. Now this man almost won the Senior British Open at Muirfield last year. Missed out on a playoff with Tom Watson by a single stroke. It's top quality company he keeps. We've always said, haven't we, Kim, that sooner or later, he's bound to get his name engraved on some silverware. Yeah, too good not to. Now, Martin Gray, who has played in the PGA Cup, the Professionals Tournament between Great Britain and the USA. He's played in that three times, actually, so a very experienced player. And so is he, that's Guy Hunt, our tournament director. Nick Joe Birdie on the first, this for his second of the day. 
Yes, back to level par for the round and very much in the reckoning. Last year, he was superb. A total of eight top tens. Gently does it for Stuart Ginn. A snake of a putt at the ninth. Oh, line and pace, both on song. On the regular tour, 16 wins worldwide. On the Champions Tour, he won a senior major, the 2002 Ford Senior Players Championship. His cap's well named, isn't he? Merry man, he really is. Very jovial character, although today I think the game face is on. Job at the ninth. Very a la Jack Nicklaus in his method. Nick Job. Neat. So is that. Great competitor. Nick, 58 years old now. Now up on the 18th green, this is for a course record 66 from Bob Larratt. Oh yes, well done. The 55-year-old has been suffering from bronchitis this week. Rounds of 77, 76 to open. But now the club pro at Kibworth in Leicestershire is a course record holder. Well done, Bob. Now to a somewhat struggling overnight leader, Martin Gray. Third in greens in regulation on the first two days. But, oh my goodness. Caught that very heavy. That's his third shot on the par four ninth. Crisis time. Yes, I'm just wondering, Kim, whether there was a hint of a double hit there. We'll see. Now we know how slick this putt is from seeing Stuart Ginns a moment or two ago. Chance gone. By the way, it was a double hit. Gray would go on to make a treble bogey seven on the ninth and plummets from first to a tie for sixth. The new leader, Stuart Ginn. Will the tour's nearly man finally be a champion here in the Azores? The European Seniors Tour is constantly opening its doors to new blood. The latest addition to the fold is Senor Domingo Hospital. Yeah, of course, I've been very excited of, of seeing what happens, you know. I don't have any idea of what it's going to happen. It's just like the first day in a new school or <laughs> something like that. One of the regular tour's oldest rookies, aged 34, Domingo spent seven years competing at the highest level and he's now primed for more of the same. You have this hope that maybe you have a second chance when you get in the senior tour. And we will see what happens. I think I put, by training so much, maybe I put too many pressure on myself. Okay. To supplement his golf income, Hospital spent 10 years teaching the game in Davos, Switzerland. And he's also worked as a commercial pilot flying up and down the Costa del Sol. Although not in this particular plane. Maybe that's why he's head over heels about resuming life as a tournament pro. I think it's very interesting and it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, but uh, let's say I'm quite happy of, of having changed, so everything changed without wanting, you know, you never know what, how it happened, but all of a sudden you want to be one thing and you are the other. I'm quite happy being a professional, yeah. Domingo can also boast his own personal cheering section, a group of girls from the English Midlands that decided to support a random golfer. Hospital got the nod. They just came in one uh, English Open in Forest of Allen and they told me that uh, they named the, the golf society under my name because of me. Okay, it was not because of any other thing and then we had a lot of fun from that point, you know. And I hope to restart and to have all the fun we, we used to have. It was, Fantastic. So what does this high-flying, fan-club-inspiring resident of the Alps expect from his new career? I would love to finish in the top 20. In the long term, I would love to reach 60 and to meet all the other Spanish players here, to wait for them here. 